Hello Internet, this is Alfie Crow with SB Nation and BigCatCountry.com. Here to talk about the most pivotal 2012 road games for the Jacksonville Jaguars. And to jump right into it, the first game of the season on the road against the Minnesota Vikings. First game under new head coach Mike Malarkey, new owner Shad Khan, uh, the new look Blaine Gabbard, a new offense, new almost everything. So it's, it's going to be our first real look at everything under live bullets in the regular season. And, and we're going to need to see a lot and improvement from what we've seen in training camp in the preseason. Uh, the next biggest point in that game is going to be how does quarterback Blaine Gabbert look? Uh, he, he was atrocious last year. He struggled in the pocket, uh, barely completed you know just over 50% of his passes. Uh, he's looked a lot better in training camp. His first preseason game, he went right down the field and scored on a touchdown drive. Uh, so you want to see that carry into the regular season. Uh, and, and then how do the new wide receivers look? Going with Blaine Gabbert, you signed Lauren Robinson in free agency. You drafted Justin Blackman. Uh, you moved Mike Thomas back into the slot, which uh, seemingly has revived his career after his terrible year last year. So how are those guys going to look? And then can the Jaguars defense get to the quarterback? Jaguars defense was top six last year, but a big problem was still getting to the quarterback. Drafted Andre Branch in the second round to play that spot. Resigned Jeremy Mincy in, in free agency. You led your team in sacks last year. So can they get pressure on the starting quarterback for the Vikings in week one? And the next big road game for the Jacksonville Jaguars is their week seven matchup in California against the Oakland Raiders. I have them with a three and two record at that point. Uh, they've had terrible trips to the West Coast the past four or five years. Uh, they have not won a game against a Western Division team on the road since they beat Denver in, back in 2008. Uh, a lot of that had to do with the preparation of the team. Jack Del Rio's gone now. You have Mike Malarkey now. How big a difference is that going to make? Uh, and then you're coming off your bye week, so you should be rested. You should have a full week and a half to game plan for the Raiders and, and know exactly what you need to do to beat that football team. So it'll be important to see how the team who traditionally under the past regime struggled off of bye weeks. And then by this point in the season, it'll be game six. Uh, you'll know if the Jaguars have a functional passing offense. And I say functional because last year the Jaguars were the worst passing team in the NFL, but they still had a top six defense. They still led the league in rushing. So if this team can just have a functional passing offense under Blaine Gabbert, be kind of middle of the road passing the football, they should be a lot better than they were at this point last season. And then the final pivotal road game is in the division against the Houston Texans in Houston. Typically, most fans have written this off as a loss. Every time you go to Houston, they always wear their battle red. And, you know, it's, it's just always been a bad time for the Jaguars. But at this point in the season, I have the Jaguars with a 5-4 record in Week 11. Um, it, it's a divisional game. Uh, it's going to be important, especially if the Jaguars are where I think they're going to be and, and where they want to be. These are the type of games in the division you have to win. Not only that, but if you want to be a playoff football team, especially this year, again, these are the games on the road that you need to go out there and win, and it's been something this team has struggled with traditionally. And then, you know, how once again, how does the pass rush look? this late in the season with Jeremy Vinzi, how has rookie Andre Branch developed? Have they found another guy besides those two who can get to the quarterback? And, and then the big thing, how's top five pick Justin Blackman gonna be progressing this far in the season? Is he your number one receiver yet? If he's not, is he at least your number two receiver? You know, is he a reliable threat at this point in the season? And how does your second round pick Andre Branch look? Is he providing that pass rush you thought he would give you off the end? Or, by this point in the season, have both of these guys hit the rookie wall and are, are they struggling and starting to run out of gas? That's it for the three most important road games for the Jaguars this season. They're all important in their own unique way. Uh, but if you want to hear more videos about this, see more of my lovely face, subscribe to SB Nation NFL, uh, Big Cat Country's YouTube channel, and visit BigCatCountry.com and SBNation.com.